First of all, I am aware that Crunch, along with other post-Naughty Dog characters, are gonna be in CTR Natural Field. Crunch looks great, and has a better character model than Crash, might I add. And the fact that these non-Naughty Dog characters are being acknowledged even further gives me hope that in a future title, a platformer, not a remake, the story can be more refreshing. Assuming we get one. Speaking of stories, once upon a time, there was a dark era when Crash was dead, and I did videos on the series for about 5-6 to six years hoping that something would happen in return. Something, or two things did, rather. While not what I wanted necessarily, I was still grateful for Sony going out of their way to Activision to have the series return from its hiatus, because let's be honest, Activision didn't know what to do with the series. They didn't have any plans. It was Sony that caused it. But the main question is, what is next after CTR, Nitro Fueled? Sometimes I hate questioning that because of the mere fact that at this moment, and I'm going to be honest, Crash fans are zombified hypocrites. What do I mean by that, you may ask? Well, remember that dark time when Crash was dead? Yeah, people took jabs at Activision because the only IPs that they cared about at the time were Call of Duty, Skylanders, and maybe Tony Hawk. They were financially successful series. What do you do with intellectual properties that are successful? You pump out more titles. You milk it. Crash Insane Trilogy is a compilation of three original PS1 games remade from the ground up. Crash Team Racing Nitro Field is a remake of a beloved classic kart racer with the other half of Crash Nitro Kart in it. That's five remasters. You see the pattern here? Because Crash fans are getting these remakes and then some, they don't want to view this as milking because it's still the beginning stages of Crash's resurgence. <clears throat> Even though we're past three games being remade, and now we're getting practically two more remade into one game. I feel as though this is just being in denial or spoiled. I'm not saying this is a problem, but I am saying that this isn't new with Activision. Crash is getting milked, and not a lot of people either want to accept it or at least understand the perspective here. This isn't a rant. I'm just trying to be rational about what's going on here. You have the vocal minority who want a new game, but unfortunately are overshadowed by those who want remakes of games that should really just be left in the past. But knowing Activision, they might just remake Crash Bash. Or if they're crazy enough, they'll ruin a certain game's identity, which, to be frank, won't be a sight to see. I'm not going to make this video long. I just felt as though it should be something that people should be more aware or open-minded or observant of. I'm not going to say I'm right, but what I am going to say is that I had more fun doing Crash content when Crash was in an active series, mainly because I could speculate on a new title and the fact that even though half the shit that I did videos on weren't true, I still had fun. I don't miss being picked on, I don't miss being lied to, I don't miss being manipulated, I don't miss being talked behind my back or any of that. What I'm saying is that if this remaking limbo continues, don't be surprised if I drop this series. And if you don't support me anymore because of that, that's okay, I guess. I'll see you guys in the next upload, whenever that will be. Peace.